Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study a scenario where when we use web activity in ADF and has the data from the REST endpoint as JSON array, we have a limitation in the web activity of the ADF that we could not see the data in the form of JSON array. So we need to make a change or perform a workaround in order to view the data as JSON array. So how we are going to do it, we'll see. But let's first see the web activity in ADF and Synapse Analytics from the standard Microsoft documentation page. So here is the page and it says that it can be used to call a custom REST endpoint from ADF and Synapse pipelines. If you go further down, we have already studied about it in the activities playlist of the ADF activities. If we go down here, we have this table which shows the requirements of the JSON content. If the value type is JSON array, request body is supported, but in the response, it's not supported. At present, JSON arrays don't work as a result of a bug, a fix is in progress. So yeah, this is some product issue for which the team is already working and we have to work on the alternative way of getting the JSON array in the response. So I'll first show you the REST endpoint URL. Here is the page where we have the URL and the output as JSON array. You can see here the data present in the form of JSON array. And in the ADF, we are going to get the data from this REST endpoint and we will see how we can view it in the form of JSON array and what is the issue before viewing. So we'll go to the data factory. Here we are in the data factory ADF cloud knowledge. We'll go to the author section, we'll create a new pipeline. So we'll click on pipelines, create a new pipeline. We'll name this as JSON Array Preview in Web Activity. So we'll write it as JSON Array Preview in Web Activity. Then we will take the Web Activity in the canvas, which is present under the General tab, or you can search it directly from the top search option. So we'll take the Web Activity in the canvas. In the Web Activity, we'll go to the settings tab. General tab, we'll leave it as is. We'll go to the settings tab. In, in the settings tab, the first option is the target endpoint and path. So in our case, the target endpoint is this one. So we'll copy this entire URL and we'll paste here. This is having the JSON result. That's why we are using the same. Now the method, method, the REST API method for the target endpoint. We'll select it as get and rest of the settings will leave it as is. We don't have authentication for this. It is generally available. So this looks fine. Now we'll validate the pipeline and publish the changes to the data factory and perform a debug run. Okay. So let's click on debug and wait for the output to appear here in the output section. The pipeline is in progress. It finished, succeeded. So this is the input and the output. In the input, we have given the URL, the method, headers, and in the output, if we maximize it, we could see the response, which is not in the form of JSON array. It comes as a string in the response section. Okay, in the response section of the output. And we want the result to be visible to us in the form of this, okay, that is JSON array. So how we can accomplish this in Data Factory? In order to view it in the form of JSON array, we'll take a set variable activity in the canvas and, and we will join the output of the web activity to the set variable activity. We'll go to the set variable activity and to the settings section of it, we'll create a pipeline variable, okay? Variable type is pipeline variable and we'll click on add new variable to store the value of the web activity here. We'll click on plus new. We'll name this variable as JSON array output type. We will select as array because the output should be array. This variable will be of array type. We'll confirm this addition. After giving the name to the variable, value option will appear. 
and it will ask us to give the value for this pipeline variable. We'll click on add dynamic content and here in the pipeline expression, we will give the web activity output. Okay. This is the output. If we click OK and in the web activity execution in the pipeline, we have seen that the output is a store that is the JSON stored inside the response. Okay. So that's why we have to give here in the output, output dot response so that we get the response from the previous activity that is web one output. Okay. Let's first execute up to this level. So set variable activity failed because this is of array cannot be initialized with the value type of string. Okay. We have defined the variable as array and we are storing the value of the response, which is in the form of string. So we have to convert it. So how we will do it? We'll go here in the value and we have a function. If you go to the function section, we have a function called JSON. Okay. It converts the parameter to a JSON type value. It is the opposite of string. So we'll use this before the activity JSON and place the previous activity web activity output inside this JSON function. Okay. It returns the JSON type value or object for a string or XML. Now this looks fine. We'll click on OK and we'll again perform a debug run. And now both succeeded. Now we'll go to the just set variable output. We could see here the name of the variable and the value stored inside the variable as JSON array. Okay. Same, which is coming from the rest endpoint. Hmm. So yeah, we have performed a workaround to get the value from the rest endpoint in the form of JSON array. Although the web activity has this limitation of not giving the JSON array response. So using the set variable activity, creating an array variable, we can perform this workaround of using the JSON function to get the result in the form of array. Hope you've understood this video. Thank you for watching. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Happy learning. Bye.